Do you want to connect a micro SD card to your microcontroller, but you don't have the money or the time to go online? Order such a micro SD card breakout board and wait for the shipment? Well, if so, today is a lucky day, because I will show you a very cheap and simple way to build your own micro SD card breakout board. So let's start. If you buy a micro SD card, in most cases you will get such an adapter to it for free. And this is nice because if your laptop has a full size SD card slot, you have to use such an adapter to connect your micro SD card to your PC. But if you're buying some more micro SD cards, you will end up with having a lot of such adapters. And let's be honest, normally you just need one or maybe two for your operations and the rest is just lying around. So it would be great if we could use such a micro SD card to SD card adapter for our breakout board. And if we look at the pads here, and if I take such a standard 2.5 millimeter pin header and hold it here over the pads, we can see, hey, this fits quite well. The only two problems here is this pin up here, because the spacing here is a little bit smaller than with the other pins. And the second problem is this pin down here, because we don't reach it with this pin here. But the good news is we don't need these two pins for our breakout board. So this web page here shows you in a lot of details how to use an SD card with um, a microcontroller. So this page is useful if you want to write your own driver to access an SD card, but I only pulled it up because of this um, pinout picture down here. So what you can see here is we have here the pads of a micro or of a standard SD card, and here we have a table with the pinout. And what you can see here is SD cards offers two modes to access them. Here on the left hand side we have the standard SDIO mode which uses all nine pins of the SD card but here on the right hand side we also have an SBI mode which only uses seven pins and the lower pin down here and the upper pin down up here so our problematic pads are not used at all. And it's great that micro SD cards offers an SBI mode to access them because most um, microcontrollers has an SPI interface. So let's go over the pin out quickly. Down here we have the master input slave output pin. This here is a ground pin. The next pin is the serial clock. Here we have the positive power supply, another ground pin, master output slave input pin and chip select pin. And one important thing to notice is the I.O. level and the power supply must be in the range of 2.7 volt to 3.6 volt. Otherwise you could damage the card. So if you're using an Arduino with 5 volt power supply or with 5 volt I.O. level, you could destroy the SD card. So you have to do two things. One thing is you have to decrease the um, supply of the Atmega chip to 3.3 volts or you have to um, use a level shifter here. But if you're using a Raspberry Pi Pico, an ESB or STM32 microcontroller, you are already, re you are already using a 3.3 um, I.O. level and you can directly connect the GPIOs to these pads, these pads here. So down here you can see um, how to connect your MCU with your um, SD card. This is just a standard SBI interface here. And with this knowledge we could now go here and solder this pin header to this uh, micro SD card to SD card adapter. And I've done this offline and this is what I got. So here this is just another micro SD card to SD card adapter and I've soldered this 7 pin pin header to the 7 pins here. So now let's try to test it. And for the tests, I will use um, this small 4 GB SD card, micro SD card, with a FAT32 file system on it. And I will use this ESP8266 um, um, 
your microcontroller on this little yeah, board here. And I will run MicroPython on it because it's very convenient for doing a, yeah, a quick test. Okay, so let me put the microSD card in the adapter and let's connect the um, let's put the breaker board here in here and now let's apply power. Okay. So here I will use screen to access the to access the MicroPython prompt. So my serial adapter is def TTY USB zero and this is my board rate. Here I have to give my root password. And now we are in the MicroPython shell. Okay. So the first thing I will do is I will import um, from um, machine. I will import um, pin for the chip select pin and SBI for the SBI interface. Then I will use the SD card library, which I have installed on the ESP8266. Here I will put a link to the description how to install this library on the um, ESP8266. Okay, and then I will import UOS. I think this stands for Unix OS to be able to mount the card. So the first thing I will do is I will declare my chip select pin, which is pin 15 here. And then I will initialize my SBI interface. I will use SBI interface 1 with a port rate of 1 mega, a phase of 0, and a polarity of 0 here. Okay, now I will create an object of the class SD card. And here I have to pass my SBI interface and my chip select pin. Okay, now the card is initialized. Now I can create my file system. Um, so, okay, this is the file system and now I can mount the SD card and I will mount it to SD here. Okay. And now if I do a list directory to SD, I see I have two files on the SD card. Okay, so now I can use standard Python methods to open up the files. So let's take a look at file one here. In file read, so let's read the file. Okay, so this is the content of the file. This is a simple text file, nothing to see here. We will double check this in a minute. And now let's also try to write to the file, so sd. So let's overwrite file 2 here. Let's give it write permissions. I will call it out file and let's do out file write hello from an ESP8266. The sd card test is passed. Okay. Okay, now we've written 84 draws to the file and now let's do a U-mount here. So, okay. And now I will disconnect the microSD card from this adapter and I will plug it into my PC so we can take a look if, if the files were written correctly. Okay. So let's open up my file explorer here. So this is the SD card and we can see we have two files in the SD card, file 1 and file 2. This is file 1 and the content matches with what we have seen here. And let's open up file 2. Yeah, so the text was successfully written to the SD card. Okay, great. So this is how to build a very simple and cheap Micro SD card breakout board. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. If you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash Johannes for Linux. But I guess that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.